Well, welcome back to the experimental part of Lab 5. Remember, it's two-dimensional uh, projectile motion, good old Newton's cannon. And over here, we have the setup. And this is a spring-loaded projectile launcher right here. Uh, it's held on with a clamp. All right, so when you come to class, this is all going to be set up ready to go. I mean, we have a meter stick here for scale, and you want to make sure it's in the same plane that the ball is going to travel there. And when you set up your camera, you want to make sure you can see the entire meter stick in the, in the frame of the video. But anyway, you should also be able to see this in your video right here, because this is the launch. This is x equals zero, y equals zero, t equals zero. Now, before you actually get started, you need to measure the speed that the ball comes out of the cannon. And we have a photo gate set up right here, and it slides right into a channel uh, down here, and you tighten it, and the photo gate is right here, so the ball immediately um, breaks the beam when it comes out of it. And if you go over here, we'll set up the capstone. Oh my gosh, hang on one second. All right, so this capstone right here, I turned it, I opened it up already. And right over here is where we plugged in the, um, the photo gate. So we go ahead and say we want a photo gate. And then over here, it says photo gate timer. Can you see that right there, Tom? All right, you click on that and it says pre-configured timer. And so we want just the one that's already in there. And that's what, what it is, Photogate Channel 1. And we hit Next. All right, and then we select a timer. And we want a uh, one Photogate single flag. Now the flag is the ball itself. And click on that. And then you come down here and we want time in the, actually we'll just take the speed. All right, so we can uncheck that. We just want the speed and we go to the next one and we put in the flag size. And the flag size is um, 0 0.0254. Uh, one inch is 2.54 2 centimeters. Okay, then we say next, and then we say finish. Okay, so that's it right there. And uh, so now we're gonna get out of there. And all we need is a digits. So over here we click on digits, all right, we select the measurement, and we're gonna go with speed, and it will give us uh, the value each time we shoot it, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and do that really quickly. We'll do one of them for you. Let's make sure. Okay, good, everything's on. And you push collect, record right here. So I hit the record button. And if I put my finger here, you'll see. Okay, and I do it again. Okay, and again. All right, so let's just shoot the ball and see what we get. So this is called a ramrod right here. So you take that, and by the way, you need counter force so you don't mess up your nice little angle, your whole setup. And just go to the first notch. And it makes a little click when it does it. There's three notches, but we'll be working in the room, and there won't be a lot of room. And also, you know, your video camera, you're going to need huge widths if you put too much speed on it. And you get good data for the, the, the one notch position. Okay, so it's in position right there. And we're going to go ahead and take a little shot. All right, so you see it came out at 4.31 meters per second. Now you want to do that like three, well, four, four times is okay, four or five times, and then average the number. So that's your V naught. That's the speed it's being shot at. Now the next thing is the angle that you have this thing set up. So you take your phone, and I told you in the, um, in the lab sheet, you could get a program like uh, Bubble Level. Bubble Level will actually tell you the angle to a hundredth of a degree. And then you take your Bubble Level, your phone, and what I like to do is just pull this thing back uh, and then put my phone right on there and measure the angle 
like that. Now sometimes your phone does screwy things where it flips 90 degrees, but you can look at it and go, okay, I should be subtracting that from 90 degrees. So anyway, this angle right here is 35 degrees, about 35 degrees. And you're going to do complementary angles, so 35 from 90 is what? 35 from 90 is 55 degrees. So we're going to take two shots. One is at 35 and one is at 55. You can pick whatever angles you want, but give yourself a nice little uh, range between the two. Don't go too close to 45 degrees. Okay, and don't go too far. Okay, uh, so pick, pick some reasonable angles when you do it. All right, so this is the setup right here. Uh, these knobs right here, lock it in place. Uh, you really don't need the photo gate anymore, but it's not gonna get in the way of anything, so everything's fine. Make sure your, your scale is in line with the ball, like that. Okay, that's looking really, really good. And again, remember, you're gonna take two videos, one at 35, well, whatever angle you choose, but I'm gonna do one at 35 degrees, and I'm not gonna do the other one at 55. Okay, because you'll, you'll have the whole thing, you'll be like, okay, I know what to do uh, for the next time. But anyway, you just loosen it, change it till you get to the right angle, and then take another video. So I got the camera set up over here. So we want to use a selfie stick because the camera has to be held still. Also, if you open up your Bluetooth, uh, then you can also turn the camera on using using a Bluetooth uh, little clicker right here. So when you click on it, it will actually start the video. So you don't have to touch the camera at all because you can see the camera is really shaky. All right, and you want to set your camera to slow-mo video. And when you're all set to go, um, then you just push that button. It starts the, starts the action. I'm gonna load the, I'm gonna load the ball. Okay, and Tom over there, Tom, my son, he's taking a video for me. Tom is going to uh, show you what the, the screen looks like when I launch it. Can you see it? Sort of? Okay, so here we go. Now, when you take the picture, the ball came up like this and then comes down like this. Now you want to be able to see the ball at least return to the level it was shot at. Okay, so in this line, you can see on the board there, the bottom of the board was pretty nicely aligned with the video that I took, but it's got to come up and come down like that. So here, I'll quickly change the angle just so you can see what the, the steeper angle looks like. I'm not going to set it because it takes too long, but I'll go ahead and raise the angle. Whoa, hang on one second. Oh, there we go. So there's a steeper angle like that. Remember, this would be uh, 55 degrees. And we're gonna launch that. So you wanna make sure that you get the height so you can see the height. And again, you gotta be able to see from beginning to end along the horizontal range of the projectile. And I don't think there's anything else. Uh, everything works out pretty well. Remember, this is all set up, but when you write the procedures, you have to write them as though you set it all up. But again, we only have one hour. And um, that's it. So may the Lord be with you, and Godspeed.